There is another method of carrying hundreds and hundreds of simultaneous telephone calls and also television programs. It's called Radio Relay. Back in 1920, the first radio telephone service in history was established from Catalina Island to the California mainland. This brought to the public such things as overseas telephone service, calls to and from ships at sea, and many other applications of radio. Before World War II, we started using very short waves for telephone use between such places as Norfolk and Cape Charles, Boston and Provincetown. During the war, even shorter waves have come into use. And radio development for military purposes brought new techniques called microwaves. Following the war, these were applied to a microwave system from New York to Boston. Here's the way it worked. Microwaves shoot out like searchlight beams between transmitters set on high places. From New York, the beam is trained on Jackie Jones Mountain. Then it's picked up and relayed station by station to Boston. These microwave radio beams do about the same job in the air as the coaxials do underground. Carry hundreds of telephone calls at once, both waves, or carry the sight and sound waves of television. A good example of this is the Bell Systems Transcontinental Microwave Radio Relay System, a chain of 107 microwave towers from coast to coast, designed to carry telephone messages and television. The network is we are running mutually exclusive attenuating spectrums. Traditionally, free space optics could go a mile, and millimeter wave would go down when someone sneezed. By combining these into a dual spectrum system, we have a platform that stayed up and available in all weather conditions. Inherent to the AOptics platform is something called advanced wavelength diversity. And what that gives us is 99.9% .9 other aspect of availability is tower twist and sway. It is what it sounds like. High winds will buffet a tower up to three degrees. We've been able to compensate for this by adding a component called active beam steering. In real time, the dishes auto-rotate in a 360-degree fashion to keep the far end and the near end constantly aligned. At Photronics 2011, NEC exhibited an ultra-compact microwave communication system. This system provides a digital communication network which is essential for mobile phone and data access services. It enables communication networks to be constructed faster and at lower cost than wired infrastructure. It's recently been used as a wireless access system for connecting to mobile cell stations. パケット化しまして、コアネットワークにつないでいくという形になります。2007年から2009年まで世界トップシェアをありがたく頂戴いたしまして、今のところ145カ国、165万台の出荷実績を誇っております。海外に行くとまだまだICTが普及されていない現状
In addition to the units, the set contains backpacks, headsets, coax cables, adapters, batteries, and a path loss calculator. That means you can perform alignments up to a range of 100 miles even before the radios or power are available. And alignment is quick, usually 20 minutes or less. Built-in voice communication lets you talk directly with the technician on the other tower throughout the process. You can do the job with confidence that horizontal and vertical alignment of the signal is focused exactly where you want it, on the main lobe. Connect the coax cable to the antenna using the appropriate waveguide adapter. Connect the other end to the appropriate frequency range on the front panel of the path aligner. Plug in your noise-canceling headset. With the audio switches on both units in the voice position, you and the technician on the other tower will be able to communicate directly with each other during the alignment process. No cell phones, handheld radios, or additional personnel needed. Thank you.